Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. It happened again, which is uh, YouTube did not like uh, one of my videos. Therefore, I uploaded it on Rumble. I will not uh, upload the name, the title of the video uh, in the description below. I will not provide the link because uh, from previous experience, uh, YouTube had a problem with this video if I do that in the description below. So what I do, I show you the video right here. This is how it looks on Rumble with uh, this thumbnail, Rumble, and this is the title. So you can, um, not like that, you can uh, co copy and paste the title right here. I'm not going to read it because we are on the free world of YouTube. Uh, but you can uh, do that. And this is my channel right here, Emil Kosman SSTJ. And you can do this. Uh, what I was talking about, obviously, something that is not allowed. And this is the, the article I covered from Russia Today. Uh, French rioters filmed brandishing military-grade weapons as unrest grows. And I played some videos here with some people shooting some automatic weapons in the air. Therefore, that a, uh, it's a forbidden thing uh, to do. Therefore, YouTube had a problem with. Uh, it didn't ban it like you cannot do it, but it's like the... I'm warning you. I'm warning you. Do it. Do it. Do, 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 do. You did it. Fuck. So, I didn't want to go through this process. Why? Because they trained me. I learned um, from previous experiences, when they had doubts about uh, and have questions about some videos, when I posted them like that, they banned me. So I said, uh, you know, I'm not going to take a chance with idiots. The problem is this. I don't know if, if you know how the process works when you uh, shoot a video and then you upload the video into your channel. And that video is going to be, you can't view it, it's going to be private. So, until I post it and I make it public, I can work on it. So, first you upload it, the video, and then after you upload the video, uh, you have to go through certain kind of steps, you know, check this, not check that, box, and so on. And after that, you put, a, you know, be monetized or not monetized or whatever it is. And if there is a problem with a video, that means they are not okay with it. And if you proceed, that is before you even put the title. Because I usually put a title, an A or a B or a C. Because if you put the wrong title, and even if they were okay with the video, the way you uploaded it, when you put the title and you didn't like the title, they would have a problem. And if you posted it, you upload, you make it public, then they can ban you. After a day, two days, three hours. And I don't want to go through that. So I want to eliminate all the idiots. So, in this case, I didn't get to the title, to type the title. <laughs> they banned they ban it. They, they had a problem when I, with, the, with the content. Now, what I say in the content was something that it seems like you're not supposed to do about the French riot, uh, riots. I have to pay attention. Uh, one thing is uh, riots, the other one is something else. So, free world. You know, when I came here in the United States, I came with the impression in an impression with the propaganda given by these guys that you come here to this and that, and that a little by little all that fell down here is still above things that i visited in my life and i lived uh, in my life still better but it's not where where they said it is and the problem is even people here think that it's there it's not there my friends it's not there if you take these guys and say this is what happened to me instead of saying well that's concerning tell me more about it give me some details maybe it's something you know, we can figure it out together. No, they're not going to say that. And maybe we can figure out it was really, really my fault. In this case, too much freedom of speech, I guess. Uh, they say, like this, no, you must have done something wrong. No, they, they would not do that. So they are thinking, no, the government and these guys would not do that. You must have done something really, really bad for the good, for the society. You can do it. You can't even take them, you know, sit them on a chair, uh, duct tape them so they can watch whatever you, uh, video you play over there, whatever you show them as evidence, they will be in denial. With those people, you just have them go and vote. All right, it's good, good voters right there. Good voters. So, this is what I got to, to learn in, the, in, in this country. So, freedom of speech, yeah, eh, okay, eh, eh, when it's convenient. When it's not convenient, uh, they label you as dangerous, as this and this and that. 
So the problem here is I uh, I can't say whatever, not whatever I want, because sometimes I don't come with... <sighs> Let me give you this analogy. This is a pair of glasses. I bought them because I like them and they, you know, work. That's why I bought them. So for me, these glasses, I can't remember what kind of uh, flex, flex, text, flex. I didn't even look at the brand or something. I paid a lot of them. When I saw the price, I was, what the hell are they made of? Supposedly, they are all banned. You can ban them. They're all light that you can stick it in your ass and something like that. Or you eat them and you can poop them out. Something like this. Things I don't care. But nevertheless, they're very expensive. Uh, so I like them. Let's say tomorrow, the government or the mass media, YouTube decides is this brand of uh, flexors or whatever they are, uh, are not good glasses, are really bad glasses, because they say so. And I make the mistake showing up here and say, hey, I bought this pair, they're good, their function is fulfilled, great, I like them. They will not let this go out. Not because these are glasses or do something, no. You're not supposed to say these glasses are good. You have supposed to say the glasses are bad because, again, according to their definition and their worldview and their power, they have you have to say they're good. And they decided that if you say this, uh, they, you have to say they're bad. If you decide to say something else, they immediately label you however they want based on something that they decided is wrong. So if I say, this, I like these glasses, are good. I say, oh, that's good, em, em, that's wrong. Emily say, and then they start labeling you. Uh, blah, 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 east, blah, 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 phobe, blah, 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 blah. And then they don't allow you to say anything about it. And you don't realize, what the hell did I say wrong? After a while, you understand it. So the same here with this, with the riots. With the riots over here, you can't say the obvious. Hey, I saw from 100 people, 98 were, I don't know, Emil. No, you, you can't say what you, what you empirically observed, objectively. No, you can't say that. You, you can't. Why? Because the narrative is not like that. You're supposed to say they're bad, the glasses. You're not supposed to say they're good. And therefore, they will call you or they ban you and they don't let you go in. This is what we fight against. Not fight, but this is what we have to deal with. Free world, free speech. And that's a problem when you have private companies infringing the Constitution. Something is wrong here. Something is, oh, that's a private company. They can infringe how much speech they want. No, because that means that's a, a tyrannical institution. You don't want to stay in a tyrannical institution, do you? If they can infringe that, they can infringe many other things. Oh, it, it doesn't ex expand to private corporations. They can do whatever. Really? Then if you go by that, we can extrapolate it into some illegal stuff and they can, no problem, make it legal. If you know what I mean? Or things that are, I don't know, legal, make it illegal. Just because they can? No, I don't think that's right. And I remember when he said, uh, I used to read, uh, I think it was uh, either, I don't read them anymore, but I had a two year maybe in my life when I read them. It was Howard Zinn and it was Noam Chomsky. I read them and I listened to, I, at that time I was uh, listening to uh, some of them, you know, uh, lectures and so on. And I like them to a certain extent, but I get more, inf I got more information. I realized, hey, wait a minute. No, 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 no. But anyway, uh, I don't even know what, uh, where, where I started, to be honest with you, with this one. <laughs> I got lost into, into, uh, into reading these guys. But uh, yeah, I remember. They said that uh, that's the... Uh, they are, uh, they used to be because Howard Zinn is dead and Noam Chomsky is almost there. I like uh, uh, both of them, I like them. I even have uh, books over here of, uh, written by these guys. Um, and they said the tyranny of the corporations. I, I don't can remember, I think it was uh, Noam Chomsky. The tyranny of the corporations. I very much agreed with it. They turned into no. Uh, man, not really like that, you know, they have shred the freedom. But wait a minute, when these freedoms are against freedom of speech, no, I think the Constitution should, should uh, uh, supersede the, uh, the companies. But how do you figure the, uh, that out again? Uh, as long as you don't infringe other, other person's, uh, you know, rights and liberties, I guess you can do whatever you want. Uh, as long as, you know, you don't uh, destroy stuff and you don't threaten and so on. So. Sorry for going so far, but I, I felt that I have to, I felt, I thought that I have to explain to you how all these things work here. And if you have a different opinion on the riots and blah, 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 do that, I can say it, blah, 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 
all right you will not get my message but go on rumble and remember the video i posted on rumble is not the naked truth that i will really speak like because it was not meant for rumble if i will make a, a, a video for rumble on this subject uh, probably i will get arrested because they are watching you think they let you post on rumble because it's just free speech no that's they say oh this is what this guy really thinks like or this is what his opinion really is they have freedom yeah 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 to be monitored like that right now do you think that we are just you and i here <laughs> yeah we have the laptop here we have the ipad here we have the telephone over there and who knows what uh, all these things can be accessed if you want evidence uh uh, not that you need, just uh, listen to uh, Edward Snowden. I know, I know, he's a traitor and all that. But just maybe you, if you don't know, you just listen to him. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.